Yeah, here, here we are in uh, Taklaman, your uh, your hometown. It's it's almost four months uh, since uh, Typhoon uh, Yolanda Haiyan. Uh, what's it like to, to come back and, and see see the progress and the challenges? What what are you seeing in your hometown? Well, it's uh, for me having visited the Taklaman uh, several times after the, the typhoon. It's always an emotional uh, visit and. What always worries you would be whether we would be recovering fast enough and and recovering in the right way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What we see here is, of course, uh, a lot of a vast improvement uh, over over several weeks. And every time you visit, there's just uh, improvements all the time, and that is very encouraging mm -hmm. to see. However, when we know the nuances of how we actually reduce risk from disasters mm -hmm. it's not about bringing things back to normal mm -hmm. and that's what we have to be very conscious about not to bring things back to the way they were mm -hmm. because the way it was was the exact same situation that brought people mm -hmm. uh, into the uh, that brought people into the kind of situation that they that they experienced during Yolanda mm -hmm. so every time I see uh, people in Tacloban trying to get back on their feet, uh, there is this sense of uncertainty whether this is uh, going where we want it to go. Mm -hmm. So many people will of course remember uh, November, uh, your, your speech in, in Warsaw at the, at the climate conference. Uh, can you tell us a little bit uh, about how it was to be so far away from home at uh, such, a, such a terrible time? Yeah, um, be, being away um, and for one of the most tragic events in Philippine history to happen while you are away give, makes you really, really helpless and during those moments you are really agonizing over the fate of many of our loved ones, of our relatives who are here uh, and that uh, really cast uh, a shadow on, on the campaign of the Philippine delegation in the Warsaw Conference. But do you think your uh, your speech really brought, a, let's say, an element of humanity uh, and, and realization to uh, to many people that uh, you know the time for talking perhaps uh, has to be accompanied by uh, by real action now? I would like to believe that uh, the the speech, the statement that we delivered there, also the manner with which we delivered it, uh, would have translated into opening the eyes of people around the world and especially those engaged uh, in the difficult uh, multilateral negotiations on climate change uh, into thinking that there is a human side mm -hmm. to all of the things that we think are so esoteric discussing climate change in a technical way even in a political way uh, when when things like Yolanda happen it just brings uh, the human experience uh, in a very tangible way for the whole world. So I, I would like to believe that it translated and resonated uh, in that way. And I've heard you say uh, today as, as we walked around town that you, you, you're determined and you're a real believer that uh, the, uh, the climate change and disaster risk reduction agendas need to uh, be one and the same in, in many respects. Uh, 2015 brings uh, an end to the Hyogo Framework for Action and a, and a, and a new international uh, framework on disaster risk reduction. What, what are your hopes for that uh, framework in Sendai in March 2015? As we convene the, the world again and reflect on the lessons we have learned and the gains that we have had under the Yoga Framework for Action, I think um, it would be very crucial for the whole world to come to a realization that uh, we are confronting a challenge that is always uphill and so it, it merits uh, deeper thinking and it merits actions that would uh, allow us to surmount this challenge in a way that we take more steps forward than backward. So the Yoga Framework for Action as we convene in 2015 and take a look at 
uh, how we can move it forward must take into account the, especially the realities of climate change, uh, that is very important. And, uh, and, and I guess equally important is for countries to put a real stake into the implementation of uh, the, the actions we have, would like to see whether actions uh, that relate to the original Yoga Framework for Action or, or its iteration. Yesterday, before we came to Taklavan, uh, we had the, the pleasure of spending some time in the Comotes Islands in, in the Philippines, uh, in San Francisco municipality, which you said uh, is, is the first uh, municipality in the Philippines to, uh, to really have climate change uh, mainstreamed into its, uh, its uh, community development uh, plan and action. Could you just make a few comments on, on the progress made there? Yes, the municipality of San Francisco has had a rich and long history of uh, empowering its people at the very at the grassroots level, with 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 the, with the purpose of reducing risk from disasters, protecting children, uh, and uh, pursuing measures for climate change adaptation. And we have worked together with San Francisco to build and formulate its uh, climate change action plan. So it now is uh, one of the first, if not the first, towns in the Philippines to actually integrate climate scenarios uh, into, its, uh, into its development planning. And uh, that speaks uh, volumes about uh, the sincerity and eagerness, as well as the passion of the people of San Francisco uh, in pursuing genuine, inclusive, uh, sustainable development for, for their people. And I think that is what is at the heart uh, of uh, the governance in San Francisco, where they have uh, uh, they have uh, given uh, given community empowerment a a good reputation. Mm -hmm. And you've been involved in climate change uh, issues at the national international level, I believe, since 1997. That's right. Uh, we are, as we're talking now, it's March 2014, we're looking ahead to a really big year in, in 2015 uh, on a lot of development uh, related issues. Uh, are you still an, op an optimist uh, after all this time? Yes, uh, I always look at the glass half full because I truly believe that the multilateral process is the best option we have in solving all of these global problems, climate change no less. It is important that we continue pursuing solutions within this framework and within this setting of the United Nations uh, because uh, otherwise uh, the, the alternative is something uh, that can be very dangerous for all of us uh, and uh, continuing the dialogue and pursuing actions uh, involving all nations is the best solution to climate change. Thank you. Good Thank night. you. Thank you.